Welcome back to Dentages. It's been an interesting night, so um, I guess I don't know when this is going to air, but tonight was the night that we started playing Sonic Heroes on stream, and um, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of that of, of that game. It's pretty poorly made, but that's that, that's not what's crazy about the night. Um, I think it was about three and a half hours into the stream, my Bluetooth drivers just died, just stopped working. Well, I think that, I think they rebooted. I'm not totally sure what happened. I, I kind of know what happened now, looking back, because at the time I mentioned. I noticed that I had a Windows update ready, and I didn't have that ready. I didn't have that before that. And when I looked after I shut down the stream, it was in fact an update for Bluetooth drivers. So I think the update came in and immediately shut down my drivers to try to, like, push me to update sooner rather than later. It completely killed the stream, because when my Bluetooth went out, my mouse st stopped working, which I didn't need my mouse, all things considered. My headphones disconnected, and my controller disconnected. All at once. The big problem was the headphones. Because with the way I have OBS set up, you're basically... I'm basically capturing my headphone audio. So, when the headphones went out, OBS lost its audio source, and then it, like... It has a hard time picking it back up. I kind of have to boot OBS when the headphones are already running. So I couldn't get audio back. I couldn't hear the game. The game emulator stopped working too, as far as the audio went. Um, yeah, it complete it completely ended the stream. So I'm done several hours earlier than I ordinarily would be. The upside to this is we got other stuff to do. It's as a matter of fact, I was just lamenting yesterday about the fact that I have so much to do this week, and I decided to add a third night off to my schedule right now, and that's because of that. Because I have all this stuff I want to do, and doing six hour streams. A night, more or less. Kind of gets in the way, because I'm kind of just exhausted afterwards. And I'm so exhausted now because Sonic Heroes. Um, but, uh... Anyway, I, I, it's it's not 3 o'clock yet, so the dailies have not reset. I don't have more... Bounties. But I do have campaign to do, so we're just going to do that. I, th I think it'll be a good time. I, uh, I made one change from the last the last episode i dropped the game to 30 fps instead of 60 fps personally i would prefer if it if it's gonna run on 30 but smoother like with less hiccups compared to 60 i'm totally okay with that um i i'm kind of i'm kind of strange in that if you how do I want to put this? If you showed me a, a, a 30 FPS recording next to a 60 FPS recording, like right next to each other, yeah, obviously I can tell the difference. But if I were to boot this game up, play it for 3 hours and 60 FPS, and then boot it up tomorrow, and it was changed to 30 FPS and I didn't know it, I probably wouldn't notice. I can't really look at something and be like, I know what FPS that's running at. It's just, maybe it's that it doesn't matter to me. I don't know. Depending on the game, I don't think it it's terribly important. And like I said, I would rather it run at a stable 30 than an unstable 60. So we're going to try that out and see how that works. Um, we are we are coming down to the docks to, cop, to talk to Captain uh, Rem. What you got? You the old man said you're looking for passage to Mount Zervain. Well, our ship can bring you to the nearby port and a caravan can take you from there. If you're ready, we can head out this hour. Also, I made it that you can see my cursor now. That was a mistake I made on the last episode. That I probably didn't make that big of a difference. You might have just assumed I was playing on a gamepad. I am playing my on mouse and keyboard. Let's do it. Well, that's pretty. Is this the monk, monk homeland or something? Looks like that might be the case. Search at Mount Zavane for the World Stone Shard. Man, just... Let's bring back memories of, uh... A corpse. And freshly killed as well. Whatever caused this attack must be nearby. Ooh, look at the grass just floating. 
so we were talking a lot with Sonic Heroes tonight about how, like, you're allowed to have fun with bad games. Just don't try to act like they're good. Like, don't try to act like they're not bad. And this game is a very good example of that. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This game is not well made. Um, it feels very cheaply made, and, you know, there's... There's not much better evidence to that than, uh, the grass just floating out in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, so I was gonna say, uh... I don't have the fondest memories of Breath of the Wild. But one thing I did really, I think, I thought... It's not something I like about the game, it's just something I found very amusing. Is after you finished the tutorial quest, it's just, like, main quest added. Kill Ganon. And that's what this reminds me of. We got here and they're just like, just get the World Stone Shard forehead. It's like, okay, that's that's fair. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hey, guys. Monstrous like essence, head. you love to see that. <laughs> Fucking goat, man. Traveler. Hmm. And the well-armed one at that. The Khazra have grown aggressive as of late. I would not recommend a traveling Mount Zavain alone for the time being. I think I'll be fine. I see your point. These goat men do seem troublesome. How can I help? A good question. One that is not mine to answer. Like! I am on my way to speak with the target of these attacks. The sons of Red. Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Maybe I'm making a big deal out of nothing. I would assume that when they make a game like this, and they're like, we gotta, you gotta be able to see the other players walking around, because it makes the world feel alive. I would assume that's their logic, of why they need to do that. Counterpoint, that motherfucker just came in and started killing enemies I couldn't see, and the battle was drowning out the NPC's speech. At what cost, is, is, what I, is the question I pose to you. Is that really helping to make the world feel more alive? No, it's making it feel noisy. I wouldn't say that added anything to my experience. If anything, it broke immersion a little bit. We have come to speak with your captain. A monk from the temple. <laughs> Open the gate. <laughs> Just like a wooden barricade sliding across the floor does, to be fair. Oh my goodness. This, this game is not very well made. <laughs> I'm having a good time, but it is not very well made. I hope that in the coming months it'll get polished up real nice. And I'll eventually be able to say, yo, this game is awesome. For now, having fun. I am having fun. But I'm not going to be like, yo, that game was good. No, if anything, I'm going to be like, if you're willing to spend a little bit of money, just get Diablo 3, because it's better. <laughs> Which is sad. Unbelievable. We were hoping the monastery might send us aid, but we'd expected acolytes, not someone of your position. You got, you got a problem with that? I'm deeply thankful for both you and this adventurer's arrival. Our peoples may have had their... Oh, I think he was talking to her. But on this mountain, <laughs> when any one of us suffers, we all share the pain. Tell us of the Khazra. What have they done? The nearby village was overrun. We gathered those we could, but the Khazra have occupied the village. Akarat knows what they're doing to those who survived the attack. And now, the beasts assail our gates. We need your help. With the two of you, the light may have given us a chance. But the Khazra swarm against us from two separate fronts. We will need to deal with both if we are to survive. I mean, the only thing better than a demon smashing good time is a goat man smashing good time, so... I'm in. With a battalion of men hold true, I would prefer her to guard the fort. With her help, we can cut off the Khazra in the village from their reinforcements. We just so we talked. we isolate to... the Khazra in the village... That would allow a small group to clear out the rest. Bold. I like it. Bold plans are all we have left. If the I think, um... The north, you and I can fight through the village, adventurer. But we need to move quickly. The guards here are barely holding their own. 
I think picking a crusader for Blair was a very good idea. I think the personalities actually match up really well. The governor at the gates! Two arms! That's new. I'm gonna say if you could not do that again, that would be great. Are you all right? No, they took the others. Those damn things emerged from the village so quickly. We barely had time to react. They were taken alive. Once again. Then we have no time to be wasting. Just got another player fighting air. Like, I don't know, that does nothing for me. Is, is there, are there any players that, like, man, thank God that there's another player running around, because this, th th I would not be able to get into this game at all if it wasn't for the fact that I could see other players. Is that actually a thing that people look for? Agreed. You two, pull further back and defend the gate. Use the path to limit the effectiveness of their numbers. It actually, it actually bothers me. Hopefully with friends. It's been days since we fled the village. Stay alert. Who knows what we'll find in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring down here. I think you could probably completely ignore exploration in this game if you wanted to. And you guys know, like, I'm not I'm not big on exploration. I I like exploration when it's done well. But I feel like in a lot of games it's not been done very well. I think it's often pretty satisfying in this game, because I, I could just follow the footsteps and go to my quest marker, but you know, I might have found a treasure chest going that way or something. I might have found some loot. Maybe not even a treasure chest, maybe just one of the goats would have would have dropped something that would have made me go, whoa, dude, this is a fresh pog. Wound. He must have tried to escape. God damn it. Voice. Grow up. Help. I'm pinned under some debris. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, where'd the guy go? I don't think I knew that he was in the well. well thank the blessed light you two arrived. Vaughn, he, he distracted them. And I was able to take shelter. But the debris. I I thought I was done for. Grin, is we're still alive? How many others were taken? Really? That's the first time I've seen that happen. Well, thank the blessed Grin. Five. There were five of us. The Khazra were dragging us toward. I thought some that was another kind goat. Of sacrifice in the town square. That's typ typical goatman. The others weren't as lucky. I haven't seen them since. And there's a chance they're still alive. Come on, adventurer. We need to head to the town square immediately. Ah, That's nice. Weird. Solo dungeon. Could, just, could you just do that until I finish the campaign of the area? Even if, like, if afterwards I came back to, like, do bounties and stuff and there were players running around, I don't think I would mind that. That would be fine. Also, we can't... We, didn't we walk through here? And I don't think any of this was here before. <laughs> uh, I may have popped those too early. My bad. I don't understand how this is happening. The Khazra are primitive. 
This kind of magic should be beyond their capabilities. I mean, this isn't anything new for this world, is it? I've seen rings like this one before. Once in Wortham, another in the Dark Wood. <laughs> this sigil belongs to the Cult of Damnation, and each time I've seen it, they were bringing the foul minions of hell into this world. I see no sign of the others. Whatever's going on, we're not going to find answers here. Let's inform the captain. This fight isn't over yet. This terrible, unblinking eye. It's as if it sees through me. See, like, seeing him running around there isn't that big of a deal, but it's like, I don't know. You've returned. Grin reported back as well. I also hope this doesn't do the thing that World of Warcraft does, where it, it tends to treat you as if you're, like, some sort of savior, and that you're Azeroth's only hope. But then there's, like, five others, at least, standing right next to you hearing the same speech. <laughs> like, I don't... It, it doesn't work for me. Fell. The others were taken. It seems the Khazra was sacrificing villagers to create a summoning ritual in the village. It's all, like, it's kind of smoke and mirrors. Wielded by cultists. Summoning. So that is the secret behind the Khazra's seemingly endless onslaught. They can only have come from the den to the north. Our monk friend has been battling against their main forces nearly non-stop since you left. Meet up with her, and press the assault. Or the Khazra will simply try again. And the next attack we may not endure. Okay. Where is she? This way. We got to explore a little bit. We just, I will not be denied. <laughs> just grass floating in the air, dude. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, this do be a beta. I don't think this was even ready for open beta, if I'm being honest. This is all like, I've, I've participated in Blizzard beta tests before. Multiple of them, as a matter of fact. And this is very closed beta. Kind of, kind of a feel. If this was, like, a closed beta or an alpha, I'd be, like, pretty forgiving of some of the things I'm seeing. I'd be like, yeah, it makes sense. It's probably on their to-do list, and the to-do list is probably very long. But in a free-to-play market, once you hit open beta, that's you basically saying, we want to get it out sooner rather than later. And, like, maybe the whole campaign isn't there yet, which I think is fine. But, like, this just feels unfinished. And yeah, to a point, that's what a beta is, is it's unfinished, but still, once you hit open beta and, like, anybody can play it, I think it should probably be in slightly better shape than this. Oh god, I am dying. Probably because I just stood in that flamethrower like an idiot. He has orange text. Oh god. Oh, he's doing so much damage! Holy hell. Oh god, yeah, that does so much damage. Oh, stop! Holy hell! You just can't get away from that. Cool, that was rough. That was probably one of the hardest fights I've had so far. Eh, that's okay. You can only hold three revives at once. And I typically regen them faster than I use them, so it's fine. Another reason why I believe whenever I see a player that's that's sitting there dead waiting for a resurrect, that they're probably AFK, because 
it's pretty easy to charge up those revives. We'll see it pop up at some point here, I'm sure. Why couldn't it be? That was strange. What is this? Huh, I don't know. I've never seen one of those. I don't know what that's doing. Do I have a buff? Damage taken decreased. But there's no enemies, so who cares? Okay, interesting. There's another one. They must be important. I'll take that. I'm liking this. This is peaceful. There's not too many players running around, despite the complaints that I've had so far. Matos Altar is about to be activated. I don't know what that means. You got it. Stay back, friend. Another attack could come any moment. Something drove the Khazra into a powerful rage. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, my bad. We learned the Khosra are employing the same hellish magic used by cultists of Skarn. If the goat men are trying See to what I mean? <laughs> it's... The demon lord, things are about to get much worse. We must put an end to this. I, I don't I don't know, dude. A shard? No, that's not possible. I know precisely where the Worldstone shard you speak of is. It was recovered years ago and is safe within our monastery. Do you believe that? Still, I share your concerns, but we need to find out more. Sadly, the Khazra have been driven into such a rage, they have been unable to do anything but protect the survivors in Sentinel's watch. I cannot leave here, but you can. God damn, motherfucker. Like, why is this a thing all of a sudden? I haven't had this problem with this game, like, until literally now. Where you can just get attacked during dialogue sequences. I guess because I've been skipping dialogue like the whole time. I cannot leave here, but you can. Investigate the Khazra den. Put in more Khazra warriors. Go ahead. I'll take care of things. Actually, didn't mean to skip through that, but I was mostly trying to figure out if I could act while I was while she was talking, which like, you cannot. God, it's already starting to hitch again whenever I pick up loot. That's something that, like, that's something that I would consider they need to fix it immediately. That should not be very low on the priority list. That should be a, we need to fix this as soon as humanly possible. Like, you shouldn't be dealing with a frame drop like that whenever you pick, a, pick up a piece of equipment. In a game like this, where looting is kind of, like, the thing. It's just... That that needs to be fixed, like, really. I, I it, With a lot of it, since it, it since it is a beta, I'm, I'm willing to let some of it slide, because I'm like, hey, they'll fix it later. It's fine. But then there is other stuff where it's like, yeah, this needs to be fixed, like, before it hits open beta. <laughs> That's like a major kind of thing. That feeling again. Like a cold talon dragging along my spine. The cultists must be close. I just realized I don't think I made the stream archive for Sonic Heroes public before I did this. Oops. Oh well. I was so 
scattered with trying to figure out what the fuck was wrong with my computer. That it, uh... Or in trying to figure out if the game is so bad that it actually killed my computer. <laughs> Other than the hitch whenever I pick up loot, I feel like it's running smoother since I put it on 30 FPS. I think that that did work. It's a shame when you have to make a sacrifice like that, but... Flesh be born. By blood find life. Let the damned serve their lord. Our power is nearly spent. He looks like a monk. A monk, dude. Then your purpose has been served. It doesn't look like you're meddling. It looks like you're meddling in things you, you should not be, be meddling in, though. These cultists keep shouting for. Yes, I am. And you must be the shard seeker. You cannot help Oza or these people. No. You will fail at reaching the stone. And I will have what is mine. The god of damnation has spoken. I wish I could grow a beard like that. Except maybe not, because, like, if you had a beard like that in modern-day society, probably w people would probably look at you like you, you know, are evil. Nothing against anyone who may have a... If anything, I'm sympathizing with you, because you probably get looks like that all the time, and it's kind of unfair. In a, there's so many reasons why I just started ignoring dialogue, and you can see a lot of them. So apparently you can just randomly get in the combat, and then it interrupts the whole sequence. And if it pops up while you're moving, then you're just stuck moving in that direction until the dialogue ends. It's, it's all very... not elegantly put together. Eh. Yourself. Dormammu? I've come to bargain? Never mind. Do... Take that... Yeah, let's just go ahead and turn this in. Although the experience buff is limited, time limited, so this is maybe not a great idea. The goatmen stormed the barricade a few moments ago, and then things went quiet. I assume you were successful there. Sure. Indeed, the ritual is no more. The Khazra were being manipulated by a man named Dravek. He seemed to be waiting for you to arrive. Dravek? He was waiting for me? Uh oh. Seen him in a long exiled. Time. That explains a bit. Together in our youth, but he was exiled. Are you certain he was working with the cultists? Yes, he made that quite clear when he summoned a demon to kill me. Dravik is a Veridani monk, just like I am. But he is rash and impulsive. He never learned control, and we all suffered for his recklessness. But he is here. Here comes the interruption. I never noticed that this was a problem because I was just, like, skipping all of the dialogue when I was playing it on stream. Dravik? Yes. Although, if he was if he is here we must uncover his plot lives there depend on it be a trail somewhere 
chaos like the kind Ravik and his minions unleashed is rarely clean. I didn't want to wait for him to talk through the whole thing. Because they, they're kind of slow talkers. And we're, when we have the risk of the game interrupting us, I'm kind of like, let's just keep it moving. See, this is good dialogue. Talk while we move. I approve of that. That is good design, and you should be using that design more often. What are these altars for? Where are we going? Doesn't matter, because there's a bunch of shit behind us. I guess I do have to question how long I should make this episode. Should I just go till the end of the campaign that I have available at the moment? Should I... That's probably what I'm going to do, because I think that drawing a line and saying, oh, I'll stop at 45 minutes is unwise, because then what happens if the campaign is 60 minutes long? That means I'm going to boot up for a second episode and then run out of stuff to do in 15 minutes. The fog is unrelenting and nightmares swarm within. What hope is there of finding traps in a place like this? I thought he was going to attack me. It doesn't look like he wants to. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, at least it's a, uh... I need aid. Uh, oh, he had me shackled. Okay. I was like, I can't move. This seems bad. Yeah, you can really see the hitches there. They they gotta fix that. The fog is unrelenting and eyes may be deceived, but the land itself always bears the scars of our actions. Zaim, god of mountains, I beseech you, lend me your sight. Reveal the path once taken so we may follow. I think uh stuff like that does kind of make this an interesting time capsule of a video because in like Let's 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 uh, assume that this game moves on to be polished up very nicely and has a very long and healthy lifespan. And in like two years, somebody watches this video and they're gonna be like, "Damn, this is what the state it released in." Because they're not gonna be able to see it from that perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What the hell? Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> it looks pretty wild. My crusade continues. But that's something that's interesting about like these live service type of games, I think, is that uh Every moment is kind of, like, potentially non-repeatable. You know what I mean? Because in even a year, even in six months, they might adjust a lot of this and it might be a completely different experience. The spirit orb is complete. The mountain's memory is long and it will guide us to Dravik. Come, follow. Hundreds of years ago, Ivgorod fought back the invaders from Westmark. And I hope that, um... This battle is the to anyone that might be watching in like a year, I I do hope that the I do, I do hope this got better because even in this current state, I'm having a good time with it. It's just I I also find myself thinking, man, I just I hope this gets better because I like it and I wish I wasn't embarrassed by by liking it. Does that make sense? And, you know, I still stand by. If you, if, you, if you enjoy a bad game, just enjoy it. But on the other hand, I I guess you also want people, especially from a streaming perspective, you want 
people to be able to watch and understand why you like it, I guess. Instead of just being like, man, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's, uh... I was gonna cite some examples, but honestly, I, I think most games, even when I'm like, this looks like a completely unlikable game, I, I, I'm able to be like... I can see why someone, someone would like this, even if I just don't. Like, I get it. Again, we, I think we wound up talking about that a bit on Sonic Heroes tonight, in regards to open world games. I understand, like, why people would like open world games. I think the promise of open world games is very promising. And I, that, that sounds stupid when I say it like that. But I, I think the idea of what an open world game could be is very appealing. Do I think many open world games have actually successfully delivered on it? No. But I understand why people would be like, I like this. At this point, I'm now like... It's it's the hitching whenever I pick up a fucking item is what that like that's the thing that's getting in the way of me enjoying this because that's not even a that happens when I'm just playing it off off of recording as well. I was kind of going in the wrong direction here anyway. My bad. Essence. I don't know how I'm doing on essence. Oh, apparently I was supposed to, I was just supposed to follow the orb. I guess I went too far. Cuz you know, it's 2022 and we haven't figured out that escort missions are ass yet. Apparently. We just came this way. What's that up ahead? There, on the bridge. That's actually a moment of why I think exploration can be not satisfying. Because now I feel punished for coming and exploring on my own. Because I got here, but I just wasn't supposed to be here yet, so... Now they're like, well now we're gonna parade you through what you already did. Cause it's not our fault that you went here before you should have. Uh, that's okay. Okay. Right there. That's okay. Elsa, look at this. Nothing against readers or anything, because I have you like, heard of a room I have not. Here? I have nothing against them, but I don't play video games to read. <laughs> That's if I wanted to read, I'd read a book. <laughs> like, no, but it does not surprise me. Much of what the Zakarum built upon the mount has been lost to the mist. And few people are willing to brave the nightmare grounds to find such a place. Or I just get on Wikipedia and read a bunch of articles and learn something. You're right. That's certainly worth a look. The map showed the chapel at the center of the battlefield. The nightmares are strong there. Do not let down your guard.
I'm a little concerned about the lack of level ups I've got so far, come to think of it. Because I fully expect once I'm done with this chapter, they're going to be like, get to level... Generously 48, uh, not generously level 50, to uh, continue the, the campaign. We're almost to 47, so I, I guess that's... And realistically, sometimes completing this stuff in the Codex gives you really good experience. So, once we get... Once 3 o'clock rolls around and I start working on, to, on the next day's bounties, I'll probably get a fair amount of experience from doing that. Man, I want to read. I want to go down and explore all this. That's okay. You're gonna follow me in here anyway, so. The flame of hell leaves not even ash. Oh, I have to do it? I thought the monk was just gonna do like a fancy wind move and it was gonna Okay. I think that would have made served as someone's study. That would have made a lot more sense than interacting with fire to <laughs> put it out, but okay. No, that's okay. I like how the I like how the pages are, are a little scorched. That's a nice touch. I'll admit it. I still don't care to read it, but that's a, that's a nice that's a nice bit of polish. I like I also like that this page is scorched in a completely different manner than the other one. Nice polish. Like they didn't just reuse the graphic. I, I never knew he'd fallen so far. He became distant after his brother died in the tundra of Eris. Oh, I wish he'd told me. I could have helped him. I don't do that to yourself, Osa. This is not your fault. You're right. And yet, some part of me will always bear this guilt. I, I miss playing Diablo him. 3 alone. I have reached out <laughs> to him in his pain. Perhaps then, none of this would have happened. Now is not the time to lose yourself in reflection. We must find Dravik and stop him. Do you know of this shrine he mentions in the letter? I guess this is better than the enemies spawning for anybody and then I was going to get attacked during dialogue. That would have been significantly worse, but... Not far from the old monastery grounds. We should hurry. I will say, this feels broader than Diablo games usually do. I feel like in Diablo games, it's often, like, exciting when they're like, oh, we're gonna get to go to... Like, they advertise it as like, oh, we're gonna go to the Barbarian Homelands or something like that. And it's like, oh, that's cool. And... Then that's, like, all they do? They're just like, okay, we went to this one place, and that was a lot of work, so we're not really gonna go anywhere else. But here we're dealing with, like, we're seeing other monks running around, we're seeing other druids running around, we're seeing necromancers, we're seeing wizards, we're, we're just... The world does feel more alive, and not necessarily because of the players running around. What could have brought him out here? Friend, stand back. I will entreat Zayim's favor once more. If we are still blessed by the gods... Perhaps they will grant us clarity. The demons are everywhere. Form a defensive line. Do not let them into the temple. We cannot hold much longer. I will find Oza. I promise she will not let us fall. Gods, he came to warn me of an attack. He spoke of demons. And in great number. The cultists must have opened a rift to the burning hells. 
the only explanation for an assault of that magnitude. We have to divide our efforts once again. It is the only way we will survive this. I will return to the monastery and rally the others. But you must stop that ritual. The old temple Dravek wrote of is further to the east. Follow the path, and you'll find it. Understood. I'll head to the monastery as soon as I can. Keep them away from the Shard, or the world will suffer like never before. Dravek has betrayed everything. Ooh, he's me. The blood of his own people is on his hands. If you face him, show no mercy. Oh, this is actually fantastic because it means I don't have to follow an NPC around. So <laughs> this this is great. Um, yeah, we're gonna go all the way down around this way, I think. No, that's okay. I'm gonna allow you to live another day. Don't make me regret it. I see a purple dude over her. Okay. Well, he got the tags, so now I have no reason to help him. Bad design is bad. Again, I thought that was a thing that we figured out, you know, several years ago in World of Warcraft that everybody should always get shared credit, but I guess not. How much did Microsoft pay for these fucking developers again? <laughs> like... I mean, like, let's be real. They bought them for Call of Duty. They didn't buy them for Blizzard. There. That must be the temple Oza spoke of. And that feeling of dread has... And I mean, don't get me wrong, I... I, I get... This often feels like... And I think this might be correct. It, it, it feels like a licensed game. I don't know how much development the, uh, Blizzard themselves actually had in this. I feel like they may have given it all to another developer and just been like, yeah, here you go, have fun. So I don't know how much I can criticize Blizzard themselves for, but I'm also like... Your constant interruptions have you maybe should have overseen it a little bit more than you did. God, like, the animations are inelegant, and, like, the character's, like, teleporting around constantly to be where they need to be for the cutscene. It's, it just looks bad, man. Again, why does Diablo 3 look better than this? Pretty sure that game came out, like, ten years ago? Like, it's fairly old by now. And I think it looks significantly better than this, which is just kind of upsetting. Man. I teleported back into it, it's fine. Man, what the? Then we got the other player fighting their own version of the fight, I guess. Something fell from the priest's mm, That symbol again. Another ritual? It isn't a hey, level up. Love to see it. Ooh, damn! I don't remember what that does. It's been a it's been a while since my uh, Crusader days in Diablo three. Build up a massive explosion, dealing. 2351 damage to all nearby enemies after three seconds. 
Activate again to detonate early, but for less damage and a smaller radius. Oh, I was kind of thinking that that would show me, like, a visual preview of the spell. Interesting that they don't have anything like that. I was going to say this might be better than Consecration, but Consecration still does more damage. I think I'm pretty happy with, like, my current skill setup. I don't really feel the need to change any of it. We also got a Kodak thingamajig. What's going on over here? Ah, build progress. Okay. Let's also go to... Yeah, we don't have any of those to turn in. Let's check loot. We haven't checked loot yet tonight. Look at that. We got a new, a new helm. Let's go ahead and do that. Got a new necklace that is a, a rare. Really love to see that. We lose a bunch of vitality. But I think it's probably still worth it because overall life is still higher. And we can now upgrade it since it's rare. So I think that's still a good upgrade. Forgot that I got all those gems yesterday from uh, the daily law, daily kill, or whatever the hell it was. What a weird concept! Hey, in a game where you kill thousands upon thousands of demons for your daily bonus, we're just gonna ask you to kill one, just one, and it can be anything. Doesn't even have to be like, you know. An elite or anything. It's so strange. Why even bother require me to kill one? Just give me the reward. <laughs> like, who's gonna go out and kill one enemy and then just like turn around and go home? You, you know what I mean? They're probably gonna stay out and like kill some other stuff while they're out there. So you might as well make it longer or shorter. One seems like they really wanted it to be something that you had to, like, leave town to get, but they didn't want it to be something that you'd have to, like, grind. They didn't want to make it, like, kill a hundred, because then you're going to have to really put in a, a fair amount of work. Hi, guys. I don't know why the text is there. It makes it look like I can actually loot that or something. Uh-oh. Well. Doesn't seem to have actually hurt us in any way. Oh, dear. How, what are they spitting out of? The portal's gone. Like, there's all this presentation stuff like that that just drives me fucking bonkers. It looks like it was created in, like, an afternoon. They didn't bother testing it. And then when they did test it, they were like, Oh shit, that portal disappears way too early. But we don't got time to fix it now. It just looks sloppy, man. And I, as someone who's played a lot of hours of a lot of Blizzard games over the years, I don't think a game being this sloppily made is their style. They, they're typically, like, the games will often have, like, design problems, but they're always pretty well polished, and this is not well polished. This feels like more of an Activision product than a Blizzard product. Does that make sense? Okay, we got all that explored. Onward. Like, 
Like, it reminds me of some of the shit that you see in, like, Warzone. Whenever I'm watching... It's watching Twain play here. that. Mind lending us some, aid? some of the shit I see is just like, yep, that's Activision. Like, that's, this is tremendously unprofessional. But that's Activision. That's not gone. Blizzard, though. At least I don't think so. I've probably put in thousands of hours on World of Warcraft, Diablo 3, Diablo 2... Heroes of the Storm. And those are, like, all, like, pretty well-constructed games. Like, as far as, like, polish. I guess World of Warcraft has its bad moments, but... It's still better than this. And to be fair, that game is a that that engine is 20 years old now, so I'm amazed that they're still releasing updates for it because that game is just old as fuck. And I don't think... You can't just put a new coat of paint on it for forever. Like, I think it shows. I think that's the reason why I'm kind of, like, done. And I'm like, nah. Like, I, I don't even get the itch to play World of Warcraft anymore. I, it, for a while, it, it took me a while to get to this point where I'd be like, yeah, I don't even have the desire to play it. And now I'm just kind of like, nah, what's the point? Demons attacked the monastery directly. And we have been fighting for our lives. I was able to warn the masters, and our best men have been guarding the Worldstone Shard. We should join them in the shrine. Sorry, I saw a notification on my phone. I wanted to make sure it wasn't anything important. It was. It's a comment on a video, which you love to see it, but. It, that can that can wait until until after the stream. It was actually comments on the Sonic Hero stream, I get I think. So I guess maybe I did publish it. I th I thought I forgot, but. mistake. I couldn't save them. What this monastery has stood for over 500 years. Even the Zakarum army could not breach its walls. And our brother has brought it low in a day. Goes to show you, like, exile doesn't work. <laughs> It's, it's just delaying the problem until later. <laughs> Has there ever been a story where somebody's got exiled and then they, like, learn their lesson? No, they always, like, come back from exile and fuck everything up, Oza, right? A powerful demon lord has set his forces against this monastery. We cannot grieve now, lest the sacrifices of your people be in vain. Like, fuck exile, just kill him. So many lives lost. The temple in shambles. If it makes you feel better, I'm probably going to take it and destroy it. So, you know. Why are we just standing there and letting him do it? Like, we just let him take it, dude. Oh, that's bad news. Drop it, put the shard onto the terrace. Follow up. 
It was easy, too. Like, he, he did not have to really work for that. Trey's on the Wanderer? Is that this guy? Oh, yeah. Super Sword? I am glad that they at least put this game on PC, I guess. Because I probably wouldn't have even made it this far playing it on mobile. I would have given up by now. Just getting frustrated with, like, the mobile controls. Oh, God, the hitching. Oh, it's so bad, dude. I don't- I really don't want to pause just to reboot the game and fix that, but I also feel like I should, because it's not great. Ooh, we got best bestiary turn in. You'll love to see that. Another new necklace. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Mm, excuse me. Oh, man. I'm trying to, like, hold it back. I, I'm, I'm noticing that sometimes... To be blunt, I guess nobody wants to hear this, but... As a streamer, sometimes holding back, like, your belches is, like... They just, like, fester, dude. And then, and then they kind of force their way out. And you kind of, like, can't hold it back. Maybe I should finally reach a point in which I create a hotkey for my microphone so I can just mute it and then just let it rip. Anyway. Um, I actually am going to pause it really quick and reboot it. Uh, never mind, because she just is running off now. I didn't realize this was another goddamn escort quest. Turn back. There is no need for you to die. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. They were very low level. Perhaps obviously. I serve a new god. One who actually listens to prayer. Run home to Eve Garod. Just Only stuck running. Okay, shut up. You monster. Don't know what she was saying, because I was already in combat. Ass. I did not mean to do that. Not my- oh god. I feel like there's a lot of bosses like this that are just generic demon dudes. There's a lot of bosses that are also like, they look like fucking Elden Ring bosses. Where you're like, this, what sort of fucking horror movie did this jump out of? And those are pretty cool, but then this guy's like, he's just a fucking... He's a bootleg Diablo. <laughs> like... There's nothing special about this guy, he's just Diablo. Like, sure, the... Hand Spider... Just in a good way of putting it, because there is a Hand Spider in Elden Ring, and it didn't look anything like that. But it was like a... Human dude with like eight legs except they were all human arms and it was like that was pretty horrifying I hated it, but it was also very unique and then this guy was just like hi. I'm a demon And it's like congratulations, I guess I'm happy for you Oza went ahead 
She's all alone. Did they really take me out of the solo story dungeon just to put me into another one? That seems unnecessary. We're gonna go down here first if we can. Or at least I'd like to. Where's the nearest waypoint? I guess that's right. Yeah, I'd rather... No, it's not gonna count because I'm, like, inside this story thing. So I can't, like, uncover the map right now. That's annoying. You cannot escape Zayim's grasp upon his sacred mountain. I am his fist, and I will crush you for what you have done. That came from the peak. Oza! <laughs> This was that was probably like one of the cooler cutscenes so far. That was kind of neat. Elza. No. She did it. Elza, please tell me you're all right. No, I am not in the practice of lying to friends. God, come on. <laughs> I was up. No. I am not in the church place. Must I the embrace shark. you, my friend. I will deal with the shard. I promise you. So I kind of like that. Oh, he's, he's still alive? Never mind. Never mind. I hate it. Because for a moment, I was like, she died. That sucked. But she, like, got her... Not revenge. But she, like, got to complete her, her story arc. Like she, she had she Iron Maned it right, where she was like, I, I, I did it. I, I say, I, I, I got vengeance, got the World Stone shard back, and everything. Like I, I, it sucks that I died, but, but I did it right. I accomplished a lot, and no, he's still alive. So she died for nothing. Bad. Why'd that character even exist, then? Why did that character and all of that backstory exist for that? <laughs> Bad payout. Also, damn, level 50 fucking 1. I thought even 50 was being a little... They're not getting, like... I didn't think they'd even push as far as 50, and they decided to really one-up me. That's sad. Okay, so we're done here. Um, I'm going to uncover the rest of the map and see what sort of goodies we can find before we before we wrap up here, I think. It's kind of meander. And then I guess it's going to be a while before I can get my life or my my level up to where I need so that I can actually continue. If I had to guess, once the daily rolls over, which is in about forty minutes, I will probably get forty-eight pretty easily just from doing that. But it looks like we're gonna need a lot more than that, so. Now, granted, you know, from the viewer perspective, you're not going to see much of a delay. It'll probably just be next episode. I don't think I'll do any more episodes of, hey, let's go do some bounties. I don't think I really need to. Even this is probably unnecessary, to be honest, but... I want to do it. I'm having a good time. That was, uh... 
Oh, ooh, man, it's an hour and ten at the moment, actually, on the stream. I didn't realize it had been that long. I didn't get that waypoint. Let's go back down here. I still want to uncover this area, I guess. Although I probably don't really have to, if I'm being honest. Speaking about it, yeah, like you know what? Let's just let's just call it quits here, I think. Because I'm probably going to I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna probably sell all of my equipment, go through my codex and see what sort of stuff we got there. I'm probably gonna reboot the game because of how badly it got. See, like loading in like that is just that's just it's not a good look. That's what loading screens are for, motherfucker. Like, come on. What are you doing? C can you believe that this company has, like, 30 years of, of making game experience? <laughs> like, it's... Anyway. Yeah, I gotta do some... I'll gotta do some busy work here. I might go back and, uh... And maybe I won't... Well, I should, I should go back and turn in this bestiary, probably. Prodigy's Path Unlocked? I don't even know what that means. Um, I don't know what this is. Sanctum of I Ibenfod? So I probably still have stuff to do. I think, I think we can safely... Services... What is this? Reach each level in Paragon Milestone to earn rewards. Purchase unlocks additional rewards at each milestone. Oh. So I just get, like, some free stuff every couple of levels now? Got $20. Now, okay, you do get a lot of legendary crests and these things for your fucking leveling up your Heliquary. That, that like, actually seems like it's not a terrible deal. Um, I, I probably still wouldn't do it, because I'm not terribly interested in spending money. But it doesn't seem like a bad value. Like, these things are probably going to make you pretty strong. Let's see what, let's see what else we have really quick. This is just an exploration. Yep, for this. Yeah, we still have a little bit of the map to get. I'll do that off stream. That's totally fine. And yeah, that was that, right? And yeah, I should go turn in that bestiary. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll call it quits here. I'll probably have to put in a couple of days of grinding bounties to get to a higher level so that we can continue with the campaign. Um, the, the good news is, is like the level cap is only level 60. So I don't think the delay, the stalls in, hey, you have to get to a higher level to continue, they're not going to go much further. If I had to guess after 51, there's probably going to be another one at like 55 or 56. And then the last one's probably going to be get to level 60 to advance, if I had to guess. Unless it starts your starts taking your Paragon level into account, which might suck. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, uh... You know, as I was saying, as I was saying throughout the whole thing, I'm having a good time playing this game. It's, it's not very well made and part of me is like i'd rather i think i should just uninstall diablo 3 and play that in instead or just wait for diablo 4 but um I, I mean it's it's free so i'm not losing anything by playing it aside from time and if i'm having fun i wouldn't say it's time that's wasted but um Hopefully you guys are also having a good time watching. If you if you are, make sure to hit that like button. It helps to let me know that I should continue making content. If you want to keep up with the rest of the playthrough, hit the subscribe button as well. Um, I, we might get to a point eventually where I'll start trying to stream this again, but that's probably a little ways off, if I had to guess. Might be a good... May, maybe when I decide to create another character, it might be a good idea to do a stream. Because I don't think I hit the first, you have to be a higher level to continue until, like, 40-something, I think? 
I think there was one at like 40 or maybe 38, somewhere around there. So even just getting to that, like that's probably one stream, realistically. So we might do that. So you're, you're welcome to come to streams as well. Um, otherwise, take it easy. There will be more of this the next episode. We'll probably continue the campaign after I've gotten a couple of levels up. So uh, these episodes probably won't be too quick to come out. But I think that's okay. So thank you again for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time.